What's up everybody and welcome back. Today is the day. Yesterday I received my uh, my shipment that I sent from my submission that I sent to CSG. Came back yesterday. I have it here. All right. So this is kind of uh, the travel that this package took or at least the cards inside took. Uh, I shipped it on April 11th. It uh, shipped it USPS, priority mail. Uh, it was delivered to CSG to their mailbox, their PO box, on April 14th. Um, somebody picked it up on April 14th, and it kind of hung out in limbo for a few days, and they did not officially receive it until April 18th, which was about four days later. Um, after that, it spent about nine days in the grading process. So they, it was in grading and encapsulation and all that stuff from April 18th through April 27th. They shipped it back to me on April 27th, and then it took, it must have taken a long way back here, the scenic route, because it took 14 days via registered mail, USPS registered mail. Uh, and so I received it on May 11th, which was yesterday, I believe. <clears throat> so that's a grand total of 30 days, but it's here. So let's get into this bad boy and check out the grades. Okay, let's get started. This first one is a Magic Johnson rookie card. It's a 1980-81 tops. It's the three panel type of card. It's got Magic Johnson, uh, uh, Julius Irving, and this John Van Breedekoff, per fellow. I'm not sure who he is, but he's on there. Okay, <clears throat> I was expecting, I don't think, I didn't think any of these cards were, uh, in that bad of shape so I'm kind of expecting at least fives or sixes on everything but let's see what we've got here so this first one that's how we're gonna see how we start this bad boy off this first one is what 3.5 Wow. I wonder why that got 3.5. Man, I don't I don't see any like wrinkles or anything on there. It's in a sleeve. Wow. Okay, well, um I guess how that's how we're starting this thing off with the 3.5. Okay, well, I guess I will be getting lower than a five on some of these. Uh, that one's kind of crazy. I don't, I don't really get that, but okay. Um, all right, well, let's see how this next one does, because I'm, I'm, I'm a little nervous now. Okay, so this next one was my uh, Willie Mays 1959 Tops uh, All-Star card. This Bazooka Chew of the Champions, number 563. Okay, hopefully it's uh, it's better than a 3.5. Man, okay, all right, sorry. <clears throat> Here we go. Nice, a seven. Okay, looking up. Things are looking up. All right, I can uh, I can handle a seven. That's a nice looking card too. All right, so seven. Things are looking better. All right, cool. Let's cover up that 3.5. We don't want that ugly 3.5. Okay, this next one is another Willie Mays card. 
I believe this was a uh, yeah the catch. This is an in action card for the catch. It's a 1959 tops card number 464. Baseball thrills photo action photo or action photo. Um, and we got a six. Okay, I can handle a six. This is a pretty nice looking card too. It was in really good shape. Corners and everything look pretty good. It is off-centered, um, so I knew it wasn't going to get a really high grade. But uh, everything else about it looked pretty good. Okay, six. I can handle that. I was expecting something around like that. <clears throat> okay, this next one is a Willie McCovey. This is my Willie McCovey rookie card, rookie cup card. Uh, 1960 tops, number 316. It's in the case a little awkward, but the grade is a 5.5. Huh. Okay. Wow. All right. I was kind of expecting a little bit higher, maybe like a six and a half ish. Hmm. I mean, the color looks pretty. I guess. I guess the centering maybe is what did it in. Okay, well, yeah, because uh, I don't, uh, are there any wrinkles here? I don't see any wrinkles on there. I don't know. This is in the sleeve as well. Okay. Well, that was a 5.5, okay. I guess it's close to what I was expecting, but I expected a little bit better out of that one. Okay, Fence Busters, Willie Mays, Willie McCovey. <clears throat> This one I probably think is like a five-ish, because one of these edges was really, really bad. I, had a, I did kind of clean it up a little bit. Um, I didn't trim it or anything, but there were a lot of frays that were sticking out under magnification that I kind of plucked off with some tweezers. So, uh, let's see. Ooh, a seven. Okay, nice. Yeah, because that was that was really the only thing wrong with this card was that the that edge, um, I believe it was this edge here, had a lot of frays going on. So I kind of I spent a lot of time plucking as many of them off with some tweezers as I, as I could. Um, I don't know if that helped it or not, but I got a seven. Nice. So that one is a surprise, definitely a surprise grade on that. That one I was expecting three point five. Okay, Keith Wilkes. Also known as Jamal Wilkes. This is uh, his rookie card uh, when he was with the Golden State Warriors. Um, this is part of a collection that I'm trying to gather for um, Lakers players that have their jersey numbers retired. And this one, this one was in pretty decent shape. I could see this one getting a seven. Uh, maybe not. Okay, 5.5. Well, um, it is off-centered, yes, very much so, so maybe that's what did it. There we go, 5.5. .5. Okay, Kareem. This one is my 1979-1980 Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I think this is, has a picture of him uh, shooting a skyhook. Uh, you can see some corner wear up here and here and here. So... Maybe a six on this one. Six point five. Okay. Because yeah, this one's this one's pretty decently centered. It's not the best centering, but it's pretty decent. Um, so six point five. Okay. Nice. Okay, this next one is Magic Johnson, 1981-82 tops. This was his first solo card. The 1980-81 card was that tri-panel card with 3.5 up top. Um, from what I remember, this one was actually in pretty decent shape. Looking at the back, the, the corners look pretty good. Maybe a little bit of, a little, tiny bit of color loss up here, but it's not really bad. It is noticeable, but not bad. Um, maybe I can get a seven on this one. Seven, okay, nice. So you can see it, it is off-center from top to bottom and from 
uh, right to the right a tad more so to, uh, to the top shift it up to the top and over to the right some but it's really not bad I've seen a lot worse cool okay next one James Worthy from the 1986-87 FLIR set it's card number 131 this is <clears throat> This one was in decent shape. I could see this one getting a 7 as well. I don't remember a whole lot being wrong with it. You can tell on the back though it's a little bit off-center. Um, just from the naked eye, the corners and edges look really good. So maybe a, maybe a 7, 7.5? Seven oh, sweet! A 9! Okay. Yeah, I like it. You can see that it's, uh, it is in really good shape. Like I was saying, it is in really good shape, so nice. And James Worthy is another Laker that has uh, his jersey number retired, as well as Magic Johnson there. So I've got, and Kareem, I've got, so I've got three or a few of those. Okay, this next one is a Kobe Bryant, um, 1996 Topps rookie card, just the base card. Uh, it's not one of the fancy chromes or refractors or anything like that, just the standard base. Um, I think this one had a, a little bit of issue with centering. Um, everything else looked pretty good. The corners looked pretty good. Edges looked pretty good. So, um, nine maybe? Hopefully nothing lower than a nine. And we got a nine. Sweet. Very nice. Okay. This next one is my favorite Kobe Bryant card. This is the 2019 Panini, the National Legends. Um, this is the explosion parallel. So it's got like the, the explosion marks like the Kaboom cards have. This is a, this is numbered to 40, if I remember correctly. Um, of all of these cards, I think this one had the best chance to 10, to make a 10. Because the corners were really sharp, the edges were really sharp. I couldn't see or make any make out any surface flaws. So hopefully we got a ten on this bad boy. Oh, almost, almost. That would have been my first ten, man. But as you can see, this card is pretty cool, man. Oh, okay. Well. 28 or 9, 28 or 9 out of 40, but I still love this card. This card is still my favorite. All right, cool. Okay, and this last card here is not mine. This belongs to a buddy of mine. I let him know that I was going to be sending off some cards uh, to be graded. Um, in a casual conversation, he brought up that he had a Joe Montana rookie, so I asked him if he would ever want his card to be uh, graded and encapsulated. He said, sure, why not? So I let him know when I was sending my next shipment in. He uh, included this card in, in with my shipment. And he got a 6. And that's probably warranted. Uh, when I was cleaning this card up and getting it ready to go, um, I noticed there were some marks. Little tiny marks right here and somewhere else along here. Two little marks, like something kind of grabbed it or pinched it. <clears throat> can't see it with the naked eye very well. I mean, you can see them if you angle it. Um, and obviously you can see it's off-centered. Um, there were a couple issues with some of these corners and edges. So a six, I think that's pretty fair. All right, that is it. Thanks for tuning in and hanging out. Thanks for chilling with me. Um, come back again. I'll open up some more stuff. Until then, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.